Good morning, everybody. I'd like to start off by saying a thank you to everyone who's supporting this channel. I really do appreciate it, and it really does motivate me to make more uh, videos. Today, I'm going to go back up to the Peak District because when I was up there the other day, I noticed that the heather was all in bloom. It's a fantastic purple uh, plumage. It was like a massive bed of um, purple, which would make a fabulous backdrop for the red grouse. So hopefully we're going to see some of those. So we're just doing uh, freestyling in the car by the heathland and we've just spotted five or six red grouse with just the heads popping up. It wasn't safe to pull over so what I've done is I've pulled over into this lay-by. I'm now going to walk down there very slowly and mark the area and see what we can get. But unfortunately as we was walking down to them they flew off. There was five of them and they all took flight. But we've stayed down here i'm now in the worst possible position i've got the sun in my face and i've spotted another one that is hunkered down he's he's actually just stuck his head up a little bit more in fact that's, there's two there's two of them one's come out one's actually just come out into this but i'm in the worst worst possible position because the sun's right in your face. So what I'm doing, minus a third of the stop, and I'm doing spot metering. So I'm actually metering off the bird if I can. It's a bit of a distance, but he's just hiding behind a bush. One's just gone. Let me just see. Still got one of them in the side. <laughs> You hear that, didn't you? You get that? They're just completely enough to idiots. Right. He's up there now. So one's gone that way, one's gone the other way. Which is fine. Okay, so I'm trying now. I'm at 320 ISO. I'm at 6.3 with a minus one third of a stop. That's giving me a thousandth of a second. And it's horrible with that light. But you see, there's the purple, the purple heather. If I want one thousand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drop. I'm going to drop down to ISO 200. That's giving me 640 of a second. I don't know where the other one's gone. The other one seems to have gone, but... Yeah, it's still there. So it's just his head popping up now. I have had sight of his whole body, which is obviously that's what we want. But he seems to be quite content just uh, looking around. I think it's a, a female. Um, I'm going to try a shot now. No, just, just gone down. It's always worth adjusting your exposure compensation, whether it's minus or it's plus. I've gone minus because of the pure amount of light that's coming in, trying to reduce that. Um, I'm going to take it up to 7.1, F7.1 now. Uh, it's just hunkered down, so I can't see him, so I don't know whether or not he's walked over the little mound where he's at and we've lost him all together, or he just sort of popped his head down, I don't know. But I can't see the other one. Uh, right, so he just moved over to the right slightly. So if we keep tracking him, he might well come out. There are a few clouds around, and when that sun goes in the clouds, um, gives me a little bit better of a chance.
been a kestrel following us round and you see this row of uh, this line of fencing it keeps landing to the left of me and uh, it's actually just it's just hovering at the moment I'll show you some shots of that it's obviously backlit because of the sun again So what I'm doing now is I'm going down the road about 50 foot, stopping, scanning all the heather. And if I can't see anything for a little while, I'll move another 50 foot down, stop, move another 50 foot and just keep doing that down this road, just for off chance of spotting one. Well, you see that's a female there is a cockbird behind there's another female to the left so I've still behind the fence I'm not on a tripod now I'm actually using one of the fence posts as a tripod and um, I've been nice and quiet we are used to the cars obviously going by um, but it's just nice to be able to uh, see them in the natural habitat and photograph them